it's time for Look What I Found. Every week, Theron joins us with items that we might have a tough time identifying. And he joins us in the ARC Lounge this morning. All right, Theron, give us some clues on what you got there. Well, um, it's old. Uh, <laughs> it's not as old as me. Isn't every uh, item is... you bring in old? Ye yeah, pretty much. Yeah, okay. I, I'm fascinated with things from uh, days gone by. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I will tell you, it, it is old, it is patriotic, um, it is fun for all ages. All oh, right. okay. okay. Oh, there that's you go. a good clue. Uh, yes. I understand that we had some uh, guesses as well, at least one guess from a viewer. Yeah, our producer Jordan here with us now. Jordan, uh, what are people guessing on social media? Well, after sharing it on X, we had one guest from Yvonne. She thinks it's from the Bicentennial. She also shared her own ball glasses from that time in the mid-70s. That's her guess. Oh. Mm. Well, she's right that it is from the Bicentennial. Oh. That is true. Go so Yvonne. It is, it is, so <laughs> Bicentennial would tell you 1976, or maybe leading up, there's a lot of stuff going on in 1975, yeah. ahead of the big celebration. Okay. So do you guys have any guesses? I am guessing that it might be a patriotic-themed board game or some sort of activity book. Yeah, I was gonna board say, game. I was gonna say like board a, game or book. A coloring book or some type of like lesson book. Yeah, that a kind of book? explains what the Declaration of Independence is all about, something along those lines. All right, well, um, you're both wrong, uh -huh. and this item is way better than anything you just described. Uh, but it is bicentennial. Uh, here it is. It is a 1976 bicentennial train set. Oh, that's cool. Wow. How great is that? Wow. And it's the large gauge there. You can see how, how large the train is compared to like me. So you can get an idea of the box. It gives you an idea how big it is. Uh, this train set has uh, several uh, very, I would say, connections that I have to it. Uh, not only is it from the bicentennial, which I was alive then, I was young. Uh, but uh, again, take a look up in the corner here. Uh, if you look up there, you'll see the price tag, and it is from the Bon Marche. And ah. back in 19, I'm assuming that this was purchased uh, probably the Christmas, Christmas 75, uh, probably ahead of uh, the bicentennial year of 76, because uh, department stores would bring in toys and, and stuff like that they would normally carry. And since it's a hand uh, printed or written price tag from the Bon Marche, I would probably assume it's from Christmas 75. Hmm. Uh, but you can tell it's a very large train set here. Um, I can tell you a little bit of a story about how I came to have this which is a which is a great story in itself uh, a viewer that again 10 years ago so I've had this for a while 10 years ago a viewer contacted me and said they were cleaning out uh, their house in uh, I think they live on the east side and um, I and they knew from broadcast me mentioning that I go to uh, all kinds of stores where they sell old things uh, that they probably felt if they didn't know anybody else who would enjoy it as much as me <laughs> that they would like me to have it so <clears throat> I went to their house and I met them they're very nice people and we got this I got, she gave me the train set. Um, never did figure out why. She, uh, again, they had all these years. Because there's something else about this train set that's also very amazing. Uh, again, take a look down here. Uh, you can see that it's complete. It includes everything. This isn't just the train. Uh, you could completely set this up on Christmas morning because it has the track. It's got the motors. It's got everything you need to make this go on Christmas morning. And wow. there's one other element to it that makes it even more amazing from 1976. Can you guess what it is? What? It has never been opened. I was just going to ask if you've ever put it together. I no, was no one too. has ever put this together. I'll put it up carefully like this. Oh, look at that condition. It, it is still in the plastic there. A couple punctures here or there. This train has never gone around the tracks. There are the tracks, there's the controllers, uh, everything from 1975 or 76 here. Wow. Uh, again, never been opened and never will be now, now that it's uh, you know over 50 years old. Uh, but a big thank you to the viewer, uh, and I thanked her personally as well, uh, for letting me uh, basically take this and make it uh, uh, stay as new as possible. Uh, yeah, isn't it amazing? And all the detail here yeah. on these train cars. Yeah, I mean, just in pristine condition. It looks perfect. Yeah, it is an absolute, it's a perfect condition and not, uh, it isn't quite as old as me, uh, but it's up there <laughs> and this will, uh, I, I, what I do is I set this up in the box like this uh, under the Christmas tree to make it look as if yet another Christmas has come Aww. and it hasn't been opened yet. That is special. Don't you just I love, love that? And I love that a viewer gifted it to you.
Yes. Yes, and I, b believe me, um, I guess I talk a lot on TV about all the old things I have. Another interesting factoid about this thing here, I'll put the cover back on so you can get another look at the artwork on the front. Um, this is made by Lionel, and as you know, over the years, uh, different companies get bought by other companies, corporations change. Uh, this was uh, made by uh, Lionel, which was owned by uh, Fund Dimensions, which is a toy company. Fund Dimensions was owned by General Mills. So the same people that brought you breakfast cereal brought you this great train. Mm. Maybe thinking that the two go hand in hand. I love yeah. that we get Maybe a history lesson as well. I know. Aaron, and look what I found. And I love yeah. the fact that it came from the Bon Marche. It mm -hmm. makes me uh, think back to my childhood. Yeah, and, I, and you know what? Just uh, just so me and, and you and the viewers who know what that means, I'm not even going to explain what the Bon Marche <laughs> is. And it just we know. We uh, know. I'm going to Google it though. Okay? It's a thing. I'm oh, going to yeah. Google it. <laughs> Google it. Pre Macy's. <laughs>